after a little bit of deliberation, uh, I decided to actually teach Mudkip Rock 2. Um, because while it's not the strongest move, it's gonna be stronger than, well, it's stronger than Tackle. I'm not as strong as Water Gun, I'm not as strong as Mud Slap. Ooh, I didn't know Mud Slap was the special base. Interesting. Uh, but it's gonna give me a second um, physical attack, worst case, so when they are using, like, um, I'm trying to think of what a good uh, Growl alternative is, but tweak and special. In any case, we're back. So welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Rod. So we step out of the gym, out of the way, move it. And we're treated to a very silly walk cycle from the Team Aqua. Now personally, I'd rather just leave uh, and not worry about anything. However, um, if we check the map, we know, well we don't know, but I know that there's a few places we can go fight a gym. Um, if we open up the map, I'll actually hover up. We know there is a gym there places. In this town right here. They've got a gym. There's a gym right here. Uh, over here. We've already passed the Petalburg one. He won't do it until we've got five. Uh, another gym way down here. Last one is here. And the second one is down here. Unfortunately, we can't get to the second one right now because it's it's very far away water-wise. So let's go solve the Team Aqua issue. Fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg. Robbed by Team Aqua, I have to get the debit cards back. I don't want to get in serious trouble. What does this sign say? Time saving tunnel nearing completion. That's well big X slashed across in red paint. So there will be a tunnel, it looks like, going towards that next gym town. We're actually going to take the upper route. Oh? Sounds like there's a Pokemon here. Um, what does it look like? It is a Pokemon we've never seen before. Where are you? Oh! It's a cute little skitty. So, we've got a lot of trainers here in this room, so let's start taking them out uh, after we run from this fight. We do not need to fight a wizard. Uh, that's going to be a pretty recurring theme about here, but we do not... Oh! We do, however, need to make sure we heal... Uh, ow, potion in a little bit. My own Pokemon and I rule. Check us out. Alright. We're going to... Well, fight Junkster Joey and their Zigzagoon. I think we're pretty safe. Uh, Mudkip does still have a huge level advantage for most fights. Let's give Rocktone a first shot. Because it's going to be stronger than Tackle, and that's its main feature. And since Mudkip is kind of physical based, a three point difference at this point, not too, too big of a deal. Um, I'm thinking Rocktoon's going to be better for anything without really high defense. Like this guy. Not very effective. However, the speed fell. We were already fast in it, so no good loss there. Oh, we've been weakened enough to use the berry we gave him before. Uh, the gym. Alright then. Water gun. Is that going to be enough to kill? Wow, its defense is very different. Plus, it's not being weakened by not very effective. Ooh, actually, I have to thank you, Macha. Now I only have to use a potion. At this point, that'll put um, Mudkip back up to full. And I'm not too worried about my PP usage. I've got all of um, the Rock Tomb I just gave him. And that sort of thing. I see there's items. We can get those on the way back. We're going to have to double back through this area. Uh, so, let's potion. And now Mudkip is full health. And we didn't even have to waste any potion points. Let's fight this guy. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Fortunately, any guy with the yellow hat and bug catcher's net, you're going to run into and he's going to fight with primarily bug types. Uh, we're not going to do the most damage against bug types. We've already seen that. Our water gun. Hey, heck, I think this is a, a nice rehash of the same guy. Rock Tome can miss. That's its biggest weakness, I guess. Uh, most fighting other moves can't miss yet. Well, they are very unlikely to miss. They still can miss. Uh, Rock Chum's going to handle bugs. One hit kill on those. 
and Mudkip actually gains another level of 16. Ninkata, you're going down by water. So we're, we're in a really good situation right now. Water can take out the Steel Bug, and Rock can take out the rest of the bugs. Hello Silcoon, you are definitely under the category of rest of the bugs. Uh, of all form of Wurmple, one of its two, it actually gets two different evolutionary chains out of it. It can either evolve into this guy, uh, Silcoon, or one that looks nearly identical, just slightly darker purple, in Casco. Uh, in either case, it stays as a bug type. However, this is what I was hoping for. I want actually this to happen before the first gym, but I can live without that happening. So we've actually no longer got Mudcap, and instead, we have this guy. Looks a little silly. In fact, I have him a little higher than I'd want. Oops, oh. We've got Marsh Tom. It's going to be just chilling right here on our party now. Mudshot. Uh, we do want to forget, because uh, compared to Mud Slap, 20 power to 55. It's a very strong change between the two, and because we our Mudkip just evolved, Mudkip actually gained a new type, and that is oh flurry, and that is ground. We've actually now got um, a dual type, which means grass is going to be even more dangerous against us, uh, a big threat now. But we are now a water ground type, who is apparently tough. Clever and cute. Don't ask him. Don't ask him. We got a repel. Wait, that's okay. I guess. I guess we're just enough in this comic. Did we find an item right in front of an item? Now I'm worried. Okay, that one. Uh, she's got another shroomish. I don't feel like fighting that shroomish right now. We got walled by one earlier. I don't want to. Even though we have some slightly stronger moves, I'm still worried about shroomishes in general. So we're actually going to avoid her both on our way here and on our way back. It's weird, I don't normally do it that way, but um, I think it's going to save us a lot of... Like, that one fight took us three minutes and it gave us, like, no experience. So I will happily skip this trainer if I can. Uh, we'll, we might come back and get her later as revenge, but um, it's not too, too urgent. So, Water Gun, is that going to be a non-sturdy Geodude? It is. Geodude goes down. Um, does this guy just have two Geodudes? Or... Yeah, he just has another Geodude. Alright. Water Gun. This one might have Sturdy, because the last one did. It does. And our Marsh Chomp is looking nice and good. Oh! Sharply rose your speed. Interesting. We're still faster than you. Or a ground type. I thought we would actually be slower than him uh, if he did sharply raise. Um, I'm a little worried we're still considerably lower level than I want us to be going into this, um, like going towards the next gym. There's an item up here on this cliffside. Uh, I forget if it's a useful one. Oh, it's an X special. It can be useful, but not needed. It's, it's definitely useful when you're using Zork or a Giga Drain, or whatever you happen to have. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd bug. Then that scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? So, there's only one route that that uh, Team Aqua guy could have possibly taken. And it's into this cave. We're gonna pick up another Pokeball. You can see in the uh, Rust Turf Tunnel, uh, there is a Wismer. Available. It is the only Pokemon available. But you come and come and get some. Hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you, you're here to battle me. We are. Let's see, we are up against the same grunt from before, I believe, and he has Gianna again. Fortunately, actually, even if it did have Lightning Fang, we would be fine in this fight. Uh, now that we are part ground. Uh, we want to rock tomb him. Uh, it's not going to be our strongest move by far anymore, um, but it still hits hard. And 
and Mudshot. This is our new move. Three shots of Mud, and Fujian goes down. Because the only downside is it's a special move, and Marshtomp is not really built for special. Uh, as much as that just makes me confused. We got actually pretty decent even growths in this one. But we have now, I guess, saved Pico. And the Devon Parts, which is what the scientist at the beginning of the route was looking for. Well, was worried about. Pico, am I glad to see you safe. Mr. Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Oh, so it's Bard, is it now? I sincerely thank you. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you, don't hesitate to tell me. Well, we need to cross the sea, so, um, if you know anyone who can help us with that, that would be great, Mr. Briny. Um, but, now that we've cleared it out, this guy's gonna be like, Oh, that goofy goon hightailed it out of the tunnel, I can go back to digging. So if you want to, you can head in here. This guy was, I think he was blocking it. Uh, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford, sail on to Slayerport, and then travel through, like, up to Mauville, as opposed to going through the tunnel. So all these guys are sad they can't keep working on the tunnel, um, because it would disturb the local environment of Wismers. I personally, I wouldn't care too much about the Wismers, but uh, I guess they do. The Wismers are not one of my favorite Pokemon. They look so weird. Um, case in point, I mean, look at those eyes. They're little, like, I guess, deep pad eyes. That's all I can see them as. And they're... I do, I do enjoy their evolved forms. But Wismers themselves look silly. Fortunately, we should be able to sneak past her again. And we already fought everyone else, so it is a straight shot out. Um, she's the only one I want to avoid. School Kid Karen. Hello, Skitty! I'm, I'm kind of expecting to run into a shiny here and uh, ruin the whole no catch aspect. But we got away from Skitty. No. And we can keep moving forward. Do we even have a Great Ball at this point? No, we don't. We just have 12 Pokeballs. Eh, that should be enough to catch anything we do with us. Oh! I guess the scientist ran away. To here. How did it go? Did you get my Devon Parts? You did! You're a great trainer. I'll give you a Great Ball. This is why I thought we may have a Great Ball already, because I believe in the original he gives you a Great Ball even in the Petalburg Woods, which is very helpful early game, uh, in case you do need to catch something that's normally uh, rather annoying. So, we have saved the uh, Devon Goods, and we have now been brought to see the company president. Our president would like to have a word with you. Come with me. I, I hope you knew this beforehand before dragging me into this building to the third floor. So, let's talk to him. Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I've heard just now how we have to thank quite a bit to thank you for. You've helped out my staff not once, but twice. A favor I'd like to ask a trainer. A president I trust never be so mean to ask a favor for nothing return. Give me your Poke nab for a moment. We now have the Buzz Nav feature. Um, it's an indispensable tool for any trainer who's out traveling the world. Use it and you'll look at the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime, any place. I want you to deliver this to a, deliver this letter to a man named Stephen Duford. Sounds good. We had to go to Duford anyways, because that is, as we heard from the um, guys in the help the by the construction area, is you have to go down to Duford then to Slateport, and then up to Mauville to get to the place right past the tunnel. If you're ever unsure what to do, just talk with me again. So, we just have to deliver the letter to Slateport. Sorry, no, to do food. And I think we get the Devon goods, and we have to deliver them to Slateport. But, in any case, we can just sneak out of here and go really, really far. Well, hello, May. How are you doing? Catching lots of Pokemon, pretty good on that front. Ran so many Pokemon in Petalford Woods, I ran out of Pokeballs. Passed by Mr. Briny. Guess he must have been going home to his cottage on Route 104. 
No way you could know this, but Mr. Friday was once a highly respected seafarer. Quote, quote, hey, go to Mr. Briney so that you can go sail. We have met Bay in Freetown, and I'm actually going to call it here. We can get as much progress as I'd like done, but just before we... No, you know what? Let's go to Mr. Briney. It's going to be an easy path. We still only have one Pokemon. I don't think there's any required trainer fights at this point since we beat them all up on our way. Um, yeah, see? Not too bad. And Petalburg Woods is built in such a way you can just jump down these hills to get there. There, we're already out Petalburg Woods. Much easier to go south than it is to go uh, north through it. There's Mr. Briney's cottage. So? Do, 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 do. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Sir. Hey. Sir. 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 Okay, there we go. We got him. You're the one who saved Pico. Want to sail with me? A letter bound for Duford. All right, we're gonna head over to Duford right now. I was debating actually um, calling it back in Rustboro where May was, but I mean, we have enough time. We can get to Duford anyways. But we are gonna call it right after Duford because, well, we have a few things we gotta do. We gotta go find Stephen in Duford, and I don't know how long that will actually wind up taking us. So, we have made it to Duford. We've struck land in Duford, lad. Suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's-his-name or whomever. you be feeling lost and adrift, try calling on the island's Pokemon Gym. Lady Brawley surely knows everyone and everything that goes on in his town. And that's supposed to be a hint. Um, it's going to be difficult for us to find Stephen. But Brawley can give us a hint. But I think I want to give it a check on our own first. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Sapphire No Catch Run, which at the moment is still looking like a very solo run, which isn't exactly hard with um, Marsh Tom. Um, the only issue becomes grass types, and there is no grass type gym in this area, like in this entire area, so it's pretty safe. But see you guys next time.